Hello, Pastor David here with the de devotional for Monday, March 1st. We made it through February, and now we are in March. So happy March. Our memory verse for this week is, May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Psalm 19, 14. We've been fasting from screens now this past week, um, and I hope that you've been trying that. Last week, our family did that. We sat down and we looked through some photo albums that I dug out. Um, Nathan wasn't too overly interested. There were a lot of friends that Reese and I knew, and so we spent a lot of time, and he kind of checked out um, partway through. Um, then, then we were going to go play a game together, but yet we never quite got there. We were sitting in the room. We, we put the, the, the books aside. We started just talking. We talked for a long time, just visiting, connecting as a family, um, and in a way that we probably wouldn't have. And we ended up all going to bed way past our bedtime. We kept talking and talking. Sherry Robinson was sharing with me how she spent last week, how she came, she spent extra time with her friend at her friend's house, didn't come back to the house until later. Um, the TV was on in the house. She said she snuck in, turned the TV off, lest she get sucked into that. And then she talked to her daughter in the house. Normally, I'd, I've not, not talked to her for a while, so it was good to talk with her. Normally, I wouldn't have spent the time with her. And then she started reading a physical book. She normally reads a book on Kindle. She said she started a new book, physical book. And then in the evening, she went to her evening devotions early and went through her list of prayer concerns and people that she's lifting up to and got in prayer. She said she spent extra time doing that, really thinking about each person, praying for them, and committing for them. So it was a good night for her as well. So I think we're going to keep on this track of fasting one evening a week. Plan to do that again this week. Um, and we're going to be inviting you to try different things each Monday during these devotionals. So this week, our theme is empty words. All the words that we say, how empty are they? Instead, to speak words of life that come from God. So I'm going to encourage you to Spend some time this week at your free evening writing some words of life to some folks. I want to ask you specifically to write to our college students who are off in college. We have a number of them that are listed in the church bulletin. You can find them there. Um, also, I want to just read them off to you who they are. Jeff Coley, who's a senior and will be graduating from UMD, UND in Grand Forks. Um, Zoe Curran who's in Columbus, Ohio. Phoebe Carr and her younger sister, who's at La Crosse, Wisconsin. Shane Cargill, who is at Bethel, nearby in St. Paul. Max Thompson, still a part of our church, a member of our church. He's going to Moorhead, Minnesota. Rebecca, my daughter, uh, she's at Jamestown, North Dakota. And Michaela Whitehill, who's in River Falls, Wisconsin. Spend an evening writing a note to some of these folks, maybe all of them. Um, and I wanted to share, we're going to be sending these out to them um, on St. Patrick's Day. So we need to get these notes, if you can, please, by this coming Sunday, the 8th. If you could get us, the, either email them to us or drop them off or mail them into us. We will then print them off and get them into our packages, send them off to them for St. Patrick's Day. And I just was remembering how important notes can be, even on St. Patrick's Day. Here's a note that I was given last year, St. Patrick's Day. It says, Kevin suddenly regretted receiving the Irish blessing, may the road rise up to meet you. you here you can see him driving here. And the road physically, literally, rised, raised up to meet him. And the inside the note was, rise up and have a say, happy St. Patrick's Day. So, so what a treat that was. I kept this. I love this so much, this, this fun little car. I kept it. Um, and we're getting ready to go to Ireland maybe next year. And so it's kind of a fun thing for us. But St. Patrick's Day, maybe you want to use a St. Patrick's Day card. Send them, get cards for them. Maybe you want to, maybe you want to make your own cards. But I would like for you to encourage you to um, include in your writing words from God's Bible. Pick a favorite Bible verse. Pick a verse that you are thinking about and write it into that, that note. Or you can also, in addition, write to a family members, maybe grandkids, maybe cousins, people you haven't written to in a while. Write them a note, a St. Patrick's Day note, or just a note in general. Or maybe you want to create a text. When you're back on your phone again, you can, you can create that in your text. Send them that way or an email. 
But I think written hand, written cards are a special treat. Let's try doing that this week. And as you write for these folks, pray for them. Um, Romans 15, 4 is a verse where Paul is saying, For whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction. That, though, that through endurance and through the encouragement of those scriptures, we might have hope. So I want us to be part of those, whatever what was written in the former days, and that you would include God's word so that we might have hope and give hope to the receivers of our cards. Let's pray together. Oh God, you've given us such words of life. We pray, Lord, that this week you would use our words to be your words of life that we would curtail some of the empty words that we constantly say and instead speak words that are meaningful and life-giving, words that come from you. We do pray for our college students, Lord, for Jeff, for Zoe, for Phoebe, for Shane, for Max, for Rebecca and Michaela. We also pray for our loved ones and family members that we haven't talked to in a while, that we need to maybe write to. Lord, put on our hearts who we should be writing notes to. This week, help us to write some notes, give us words to say. It will be a blessing and encouragement, Lord. And today, Lord, give us your words that we may live by your words of life. In Christ's name we pray, who is our word. Amen. So until Friday, enjoy your Lenten break this week sometime. Keep calm and carry God.